Who is Professor of Andrea? Uh, Professor of Andrea is just an old and an ordinary person. Um, uh, student at UWC, a PhD candidate in social work, and also an associate lecturer in the Department of Social Work. So, the professor was born in Zimbabwe um, from a single parent, and um, as my mother, that's the only person that I know, I, I know of. Um, but, however, she passed um, away in 1994, very young. So, um, from her death, basically, you know, it's say that I was born on the streets of, of Arari in Zimbabwe. When she died, I was on the street. And that's what I'm saying. Wherever I meet people when I was that age, people tell me, oh, that, that child is very clever. Because I could do anything of my own. I would see a guy walking with a girlfriend coming from buying KFC or so. I will go to I will go to the guy and I, and I beg. And I, and I beg for that. I know you're not going to say no to a young boy and with a girlfriend and you know, you know what? So I ah! And I'll, I'll start by, you know, giving some praise on you. Oh, bless! Yo, you are so, yo, your girlfriend is so nice and so on, so that they can, can laugh. When they laugh, then I'll come closer. Can I have some food, please? No, they gave me. So they even sometimes give me food and they give me money. The only thing that were coming to me is the bigger guys. And sometimes they see you getting money, they come and snatch it from you. They see you getting some food. I mean, rob it from you. But I would not worry because I know I will get something later. So even the, the, how the fights and so forth and so forth. Right, so um, when I was 14, 13, 13 or 14, I just remember, that's when there was an operation, the COVID that happened in Zimbabwe is called Operation Something. So there was Operation Clean Up the Street. So basically Operation Clean Up the Street was the operation to clean all the street kids who were in the city. To take them away from the city. Um, and and, and by, 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 by that time, uh, the, the, organ, um, the, the department that was tasked to do that is the city, city council. Um, like the municipality of, of the city at that time. So they 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 grouped us. We were when we were removed, when we when I was caught we were twenty-six of us guys, boys I mean but the ladies were put somewhere but the twenty-six of us were were taken to a refugee camp. So that was my lifetime of going back into the street coming back to school, going back. So when I finished my O level, we call it the level, the first level of the high school, waiting for my results, I don't have anywhere again to go. I have to go back into the street. There was a program, the program which was um, about peer educator, educating other young people living on the street about HIV and AIDS. So because of, now I've got a little bit of academic background, now I could be able to interpret those uh, uh, condom demonstration, how to use the condom and so forth to other people. That's when I was robbed in to be a peer educator. Um, I was robbed in to be a peer educator and this program was funded. <laughs> Knowingly, so that I'm finished my my school, my 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 high school. Now I've been accommodated at high school, but now school is done. I'm leaving. Where should I go? Again, there's nowhere to go. Understand? So now I just decided. Okay, fine. Uh, I had a business card 
for for Selena, for Selena, kept her their their address for the organization that they're working for by then. Um, 20, that was 2011 now. So I had a business card that is speaking about the offices in Cape Town. I went to the street again, begging for money. But now I'm not begging as a, as a street kid now, because I have got the results, and and I'm holding a result that can take me to to any university. Basically, I just came here without telling Selena into the bus from Zimbabwe and do here two days on the bus. Uh, I arrived here on a Sunday evening. I went to Cape Town. I didn't know Cape Town at all. I went to Cape Town in Pepper Street. Corner Pepper Street and Long Street. There was an office there. So I went and asked over and one hour until I get into the office. I was as I arrived in the office and was also arrived and was shocked to see me. So when she she, she she was shocked to see me and I explained to her how it happened. But because she knew my background, she that's when she started incorporating me with people. So I applied to UCT. Um, okay, so 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 I did not apply that year. So which means the whole year I have to wait. So when I when 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 I was supposed to wait, I could not wait anywhere. So she made me meet some people in church and, and so forth and so forth. So I met, um, that's why I joined Ara, Ara UC, from the Bushnell Church. So I met some people there, some people also, she always tell the people my story. And they started contributing and they even contributed for me to uh, and, and live in terms of her and so forth. Uh, to cut the long story short, here I am. UWC. Uh, I, I, I was managed to I managed to, to register here to the program that they wanted me to do. That was not the program that I wanted to do. But because I also wanted to show that whatever you said I should do, as long as it makes my my life or my dream come true, I'll um, put my maximum or my extra maximum effort for me to achieve it. I did my my first year I was a golden key person. In that process, and my second year um, was good as well. I had the golden key again, and in my third year, that's when I started involved in student politics. I started to be involved in student politics um, to the extent that the students around me knew that oh no, we, we see a leader there outside the academic context and outside uh, the, the, the the lecturing. And so forth. One of the achievements that I think is one of the important things to share is that now um, I'm able to feed myself because I am earning a living and, 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 and lecturing, although it's part time associate lecturing. I'm married. Um, I just waited last year in May. That life taught me to work extremely hard work extremely hard and also I, I don't believe in that uh, saying that leaders are bored. So when my results came, <laughs>